Hey guys! Today, we're going to use a broken combo to one shot lots of horde. Oh shit, they're actually ready this time. Spawning it. Let's go! Yeah, we got him. Oh, there's so many people sacked. Two minutes. I'm gonna resurrect and fly away. Ah! Uh, oh, Hiya! Hiya! Bell toad, ready for action. I'm not gonna have the time for this. Ah, please! No! Yeah! Oh, god, like <laughs> five people! Oh my god! What? I took 3.2 million damage. <laughs> mm. Like actual crew. Do some exploit, Rex or shit. Dude, this is not an exploit. This is literally balanced in game mechanics. <laughs> Probably someone tried it. What? Can they not check the combo log and see it's not the same ability? This combo was found when I tried to look through major legendaries in order to do a complete different combo. <laughs> oh my. I stumbled upon Harmonic Echo and when I read it, it instantly dawned on me that doing 25% of original damage could maybe be done against low level targets. Such as our favorite to wait a second the toe Bruh. The toad. The gentle squeeze toad. This guy. The bell toad. Thank you. Well, I tried it first against dummies in the garrison. And noticed that, yes, modified damage against low level targets definitely works. It will be quite hard to do against a toad, however. Because in order to do this, you need to first put a radiant spark on the target, which deals damage. And then you would also have to obtain one stack of vulnerability, which happens after you perform a damaging spell. It is after that point that you start benefiting from the legendary. So the question then becomes, how do we make the toad survive the first two hits in order to one shot on the third? We tried an old strategy by combining a toad as well as ray of hope, which would absorb all the damage so the toad wouldn't die. It is a similar strategy we used earlier with touch of the magi. I was honestly unsure if this could work since all the damage you do ends up being absorbed. Would 25% of that damage really be dealt to nearby enemies? Thankfully, it worked wonders. So we combined this with mass invisibility, which will allow you to finish a cast before the stealth even breaks, to easily sneak up on unsuspecting horde. Hundred K for free. Whoa. I remember. Penny has a sugar daddy. <laughs> no. <laughs> there are five people, six people. Oh, there's actually a lot. Okay, I'm throwing it right. Nice, thanks for the arrow, dude. I'm, I'm getting there. attacked. Throwing there. Nice. There it is. Go get her. <laughs> oh, that cool though. No. no. <laughs> It's fine. Oh, <laughs> oh, we got the most. Oh. I just realized that 
Sorry, it's right there. <laughs> Hold on, man. <laughs> oh my god, we're so close. Why are there so many people now? It is the Rex to exploit. There goes the <laughs> Wait, are they the same people? It is the same people. Lifeless child. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a burp tap attack. It has nothing to do with the toads. Why would they think that? What do they think? Let's hope they don't run like we here. Ah! Can't spawn anymore. Oh, they're saying Rex right now is a chance. The toad. Try the toad killer. I'm getting it. Come on. No. No. Did they just interrupt me when I got like. <laughs> Uh, did you not get oh, dude, they dropped me the moment I was shooting my arcing missiles. <laughs> well, I only got one. Okay, so if they really want to interrupt me that badly, we better add in a time warp to the macro. Oh, nice! You just lead to heal to full. Fucking dog shit, demon hunters! I killed them twice, but they keep respawning because I'm right next to the graveyard. And the shame they dropped me. Who was the shame? It was deadly heals. Not gonna happen if we get Demon Hunter, we have to kill the Demon Hunter. BD kills Skigger Yield. I can go blood. It's okay, Hanny. Let's try these. That leads back. The guy that dropped me. Are you ready, Carol? You can rest first and stand. I'm spawning it. He's, he's heart stoning! Oh, they found me. I'm never getting off, am I? I got him! Oh, I got them all! <laughs> I didn't expect him to get off my cast. They literally left me free cast. Which just demon on the said I couldn't get him. Let's, let's try one last time and then we're done. Okay, one last. Who the fuck is this dog following me, man? Oh, I, oh this game making me so mad. Okay, I think you should take a big break. How the fuck am I dismounted? Who the fuck shot that dude? I don't know, fam. Oh dude. my god. I was in the air, what? Okay, I'm spawning the toad right there. Okay, try it. Let's see. Oh. Yeah! Let's go! Oh, we got him. Oh. <laughs> Revenge is ours, guys. One thing I started to wonder. Is it possible to do this alone? Without any outside help? What do we do? He's level 50. What do you mean 50? I'm level 60. He can't do shit. Dude, I just one shot five people! I did a lot of testing around this. I used the Hordem C Vanira and discovered some ways to stack up the vulnerability without killing her. This requires both Rest Sickness as well as Frost Nova to do as little damage as possible. Ultimately, it won't work. Because I noticed that if you kill the target with your ability, the echo will never happen. And if the ability doesn't kill Vanira, the damage number on the echo will never be enough to one shot a Horde player. So this means that Ray of Hope is crucial to the combo, and it can't be done without it. The whole combo is the following. You and a priest friend approach the horde and spawn a toad at the same time as your mass invisibility. The priest mind controls the toad, followed by Ray of Hope. Then you quickly cast Radiant Spark, followed by Arcane Missiles, and it should destroy anything nearby. I hope you all enjoyed the video, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more. Nice. Look at that panic. We still have it. What is this? Four, two or four KM more? What the yeah. fuck? Dude, this is actually insane. You're like kind of tanky than when I play my pallet.